Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. And uh, if you are going to buy a new smartphone, and uh, what is the minimum RAM that you should choose? And nowadays we are getting like 12 GB, 16 GB RAMs in smartphones. Should you go for those? Or what is the minimum RAM that you choose before you're going to buy a new smartphone for your general usage? And I'll explain in this video. So let's get into the video, guys. It's hard to break, but that's all right. Okay guys, uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy M30s and it has 4GB RAM and how much of that 4GB RAM that I can use for uh, using any applications like Facebook, YouTube or gaming or video editing and how much RAM is consumed by the system, I mean the OS, Android OS and the system UI user interface and I'll open the screen. Okay guys, I will show you that how much of RAM is consumed in my smartphone and I'll open the memory usage you can see here 3.1 GB is generally used and the remaining is uh, is just not in use and I'll open the memory usage you can see here 0 0.99 GB is used by Android OS and the Android system is consuming 249 MB and Google Play services and system UI and these are consuming heavy percentage of RAM if you are going to buy a smartphone of 4GB RAM, don't expect that 4GB of RAM will be usable. Only uh, 1.5 or maybe 2GB, even not 2GB, 1.5GB is just usable and the remaining of the RAM is consumed by your Android OS and the system UI. So better to have a more GB RAM for your gaming and for even other multitasking. The conclusion of this video is better to have a minimum of 6 GB of RAM in your smartphone before you're going to buy and uh, having a 12 GB and 16 GB of RAM is useful only when you can do heavy multitasking and you can open a lot of applications in your RAM and that is only the use of having such heavy RAMs so if you like this video please like it and if you haven't subscribed till now Please do subscribe that and bell, uh, tap on the bell icon for more latest videos. Till then have a nice day.